And this time, after Voyager's success at Jupiter, the press and the public were queuing up for a glimpse of the first images of everyone's favorite planet. We thought we knew it all, but uh, <laughs> once again, we were looking at a very, very complex situation. Uh, the rings were broken up into you know, mini rings. There were gaps in there. There were all sorts of dynamical phenomena that we didn't understand. So we very, very hurriedly reprogrammed Voyager 2 to take a much closer look at the rings. When I began my work in about the 1964, I had suggested that one thing we could do with this particular mission was to fly between the planet and the rings. And very fortunately, we didn't do that because as we approached Saturn, we saw that the region there that we would have to have flown through with the spacecraft was filled with more rings. There was no question that spacecraft would not have survived trying to go through, the, through that gap. The imaging team could barely cope with all the new detail revealed by Voyager 2. 